Hello and welcome. Today, the first thing we're gonna do, what is this on my table? Somebody left some sewing equipment here. Now, I've always had a question. What on earth is this strawberry doing on this? Seriously, it's like a pin cushion or whatever you call it. What, who puts, what is this strawberry? Does, is there a purpose for this? Do you like sandbag rivers with this? There's like a little sand in there. I don't know. If you guys know what that strawberry is for, let me know. I'm kind of irritating me. Anyway, we're going to move on. <laughs> for those of you who are new, welcome. I hope you made it through that intro. Sorry, I get kind of scatterbrained sometimes. We're playing a game of Texas Hold'em here. Grab two cards off your deck at home. I'm going to shuffle these up. These are my favorite, favorite cards of all time. The Chem Arrows. They're 100% plastic made out of cellulose acetate, which is an incredibly safe plastic. Let's go ahead and cut the deck here. Do I have a cut card? Oh, it's out of reach. It's on my bookshelf. All right, I'm not going to use a cut card today. We're going to burn a card. Here's the flop. This is what's going to make or break us today. There you go. Everybody who raised with a pair of sevens, good job. You're just going to lose to people who raised with a pair of kings. That's all, apparently, I'm saying. Well, that's starting to look a little threatening. And the queen. All right, that's interesting. Somebody will have a straight or something. Tell us what you have in the comments, especially if it's interesting. Chem. Chem playing cards. These are so nice. It's one of these, the classic example of, you forget how nice something is until you go for a while without it and then you fire it back up. I love these chem face cards. I need to get these out of the way. They're creating some horizontal lines on my viewfinder. Today we're talking about Dunes poker chips. Now, real quick, to identify, these are China Clay Dunes that are available in Apache Poker Chips. Now, if they only had sent me some sort of paper token I could put in front of the camera and show you their website, I mean, I would totally do it. I mean, I don't know where else you would find it. Maybe the description, but there's just no way to communicate where I got these. I paid for these. I am genuinely looking for a set of poker chips. I, You guys know my last video... I talked about the Versa poker chip case, and I have an empty case right now that can hold 500 chips, so I'm actually in the market looking for some stock poker chips. And are these going to meet my needs? Well, let's discuss that. For starters, we need to differentiate these from some other chips. We have some Dunes commemorative right here. These are made out of a, slick, a slicker plastic. I like to call the next gen material. Often they will be sold as a true clay material, but it, either way, it's just a slicker plastic. Um, obviously different because on the China clay version right here, you can see there's no commemorative written across the top here, where all there is commemorative written right here. Now the inlays are also a little different. There's some progression on the sticker inlays on the this version, the commemorative version. I'm gonna call this the commemorative version. I'm gonna call this the casino version. Even though, even though these were not used in the casino, okay? These are not Paulson's. These are not the original. These are China clay replicas of the original casino chip. So the casino China clay version is different than the commemorative next-gen material version, okay? And I have some others. I can, you know, you can clearly see the edge spot progressions and the China clays. Pretty interesting. So we're not talking about those. We've already made a video about those. Now we're talking about the China clays. Now, as usual, we're gonna dive into the measurements of quality control, weight, width, and thickness. The thickness is nothing to write home about. The ones are slightly thinner than the other two, but I would say that's perfectly understandable and expected in a China clay set. Uh, you can see it's not a huge deal. When I stack them next to each other, it, um, it takes more than 20 for that really to be noticeable. At 20, you can kind of notice a difference in the height, but it's it's a pretty a pretty minor difference there, but noticeable. And I have stacked these, I'm talking about quality control. I have stacked the 75 high and no problems. For those of you that measure flatness by stacking, it's pretty stable, I mean, what you expect. I prefer visually to go like this to show flatness. And that's my experience is they're, they're pretty flat. You can see there's, it's not perfect. You can see some movement here. You can see some gaps right there. Is that showing through? Get a different color. See if you can get, see that shine through right there. 
So they're not perfect, but they're pretty close. And so I'm happy with flatness. Other things that we look for, um, inlays. Sometimes some china clays, some, maybe just one china clay came with a skewwampus inlay. They're sticker inlays that kind of comes with the territory. Um, this is, I'm thinking, this might be the only china clay. I know I've had some next gen with missing inlays and skewwampus inlays, but I think this is the only china clay I've ever had with a skewwampus inlay. And I guess we're also looking for edge spot bleeding. Sometimes edge spots just bleed all over the place. And so you have like, for here you'd have like gray or brown marks all over this. I don't see any, I haven't noticed anything that jumps out at me as something that's completely horrendous. I also look for stamp depth. So you can see there's dunes stamped into the chip right here and on the edges right here around the perimeter. And I haven't seen any out of my sample of 75. Again, this is not a huge sample. It was not a big scientific study, but none of the chips that I have here have had depth issues with that. If you guys remember the original Milano's, I did, and I showed this on camera in that review, there was a kind of a thickness issue there on the stamping. So overall, the quality control on the dunes is exactly what we expect with China clays. It's very average. When we talk about design, there, there, there are some things to discuss, but remember, these are a replica of a casino chip, the Casino Dunes China Clays here. So it's not like it's anything really unique. It's not like, oh, wow, we've never seen this inlay before. It's kind of predictable. And for a lot of people, that's a good thing. Simple design here. We get some edge spot progression, clearly across denominations. There's not really an inlay progression other than the denomination, the number here. But you'll notice that there is a dollar sign in front of the denomination, so they're dollars. Now, normally I would say that kind of limits your audience, but because this is a replica chip, they don't exactly have dunes, resort, spa, casino, what does it say right here? Hotel and country club in Monte Carlo, France, or London, England. The dunes. You know, London, really? I don't... Maybe there is such a place. So the dollar sign kind of fits as a replica thing. Everybody gets it. Oh, the Dunes Las Vegas replica chip, dollar signs. You kind of expect that. So it works with the design. All right, no problems. Would you want to see the commemorative written across the top of these chips? Like this one right here. I'm looking at it and I'm having a tough time seeing this as a more interesting chip than this. Just my opinion what I think. Uh, other things about the design, anything worth writing home about, the color, I, I like blue ones. I can't think of anything else that I would really mention when it comes to design. Uh, the chip design itself is standard china clay, has kind of round edges, which I think does a good job mimicking broken in casino chips. Well, let's see what I have here. I'm looking through the viewfinder and I think I can roll in some Horseshoe Cleveland Paulsons right here. These are actually casino used. Um, however, the, the Horseshoe Cleveland has changed names, so these are not worth anything if you're wondering. But yeah, these are, so these are some old casino used Paulsons. And if you look at a new casino used Paulson, you might hear plastic, I'm playing around with all these trays. Here's a, what is this? New York, New York Paulson. This is an actual casino chip. This actually is worth a dollar. And you can see it has sharp edges. Now, as they break in, Paulsons get these rounded edges, which look awfully similar to the China clay edges. So I feel like China clays do a good job mimicking the feel. Ooh, man, Paulsons feel nice. Ooh, nice. But they're not available commercially. All right, so the feel and the design of the chip is, as far as I'm concerned, above average. Very well thought out. They stuck to the replica theme. They have progressive edge spots on a china clay, which checks off one of those checkboxes of yes, they put a lot of effort into the design of these chips. I like it. And the next part we're going to discuss here isn't something I really enjoy too much. China clays don't have a metal insert. They are a, kind of a coarse plastic with kind of a chalky feel. As they break in, sometimes they can slick it up a little bit, in my experience. But because they don't have a metal insert, 
you can grab them in your fingers and break them. Luckily, I got it on tape when I was playing with these. Did I say tape? Uh, SD card? Man, I might. Maybe I was born in the 50s. You never can tell. Tape. Man, who says that anymore? So I did capture that breakage. I have them right here sitting off screen. Actually, I can just roll these back in. So if you try and you crank down on these with your fingers, you can break them. So please don't. Like I said, no inlay problems. Uh, durability, they're very average for a china clay. China clays are one that I feel like typically I break often on camera. The ones that seem to be impervious to my weak fingers breaking them are the metal insert chips. Here's a little metal insert ABS chip. There's a piece of steel in there. I'm not going to break that. What's the other one that I can't break? Oh, ceramics. What is this? A Venerati or something. Yeah, I've never broken a ceramic with my fingers. And so average across the board. There you have it. Now, for everybody that made it this far, thank you. Now I'm going to discuss some of the where to and how to's of the chip. I first saw these as a pre-purchase on Poker Chip Forum, I think is what the name of the forum is. And it was made available through Apache Poker Chips. I had seen these before uh, somewhere else, I forget. A couple years ago, I saw China Clay Dunes. I don't remember if there was a commemorative up here. I don't remember how it all looked. But they were China Clays, and they did have the Dunes name on there. Are these different? I, I don't know. But I do know that these are currently available. The ones you're looking at right here are available currently, December 2016. And this can change at any moment at Apache Poker Chips. Follow the link in the description. Or if you go to their website, I don't know if you can browse to it right now. But you can search. So just go to the search in the top right and type in Dunes, and it will be one of the choices. And you'll be able to recognize it after you watch this video. It doesn't say commemorative up here. And as far as availability goes, it really depends. Like, depending on how many they have in stock, if they're going to order more, if there's huge demand, will they keep these in production? Generally, they produce things to a market. So if there's a huge demand for these and a lot of people buy them, I can imagine that they would continue producing these, but I just can't guarantee that at this point, right? So we'll see. It kind of is the general market for poker chips in today's day and age. Hopefully that changes. So availability, unknown. But definitely look at the link below and see if there are some available. Now comes the point where I discuss my feelings about these chips. I, what do you guys think? I absolutely love these chips. And again, you see, I was going to buy some Majestics. And I held off and held off and I was like, uh... You know, do I want to get these or something else? And then these pop up. And now these are neck and neck with the Majestics. And I am, like so many of you, struggling to choose a set. I have an empty case. I have 500 slots open. I'm ready to go. I just need to choose a set. These are wonderful. I love these. The progression, the bright colors. But then the Majestics are so bold with those black inlays that I love so much. And they have plaques and all sorts of interesting things. Ah. It's a really tough decision. So I, you know, if anybody in the comments asks, what should I get? Should I get the Dunes China Clays or should I get the Majestic China Clays? I can't answer that because I'm struggling with that question right now. These are, in my opinion, one of my two favorite China Clay sets available today. And again, everything can change in the future, but right now, these are tied with the best available today. Now, everybody is different. Some people will love the Dunes, some people won't. The Dunes historically was run or famously, I'm not sure if it's true or not, famously run by some questionable characters. Some good fellas, I think is a term that a lot of people use. Good family men. And I, you know, it was like back in the days of like a Martin Scorsese film, right? It's like, you, did, <laughs> you didn't mess with the casino or try to cheat, not because you didn't want to get a little citation, it's because you wanted to walk out of the casino, not wheel a wheelchair out of the casino. That's how that's how serious it was. Um, and if anybody from that era is watching who ran the dunes, I loved the dunes. The Oasis Casino was absolutely beautiful. It was a gem on the strip. Now we should quickly move on to the sound test. I'm going to compare some China clays, and this isn't new to many of you, but I want this to be a standalone video. So we're going to compare the sound of China clays to some other competitive options. Uh, let's see, of different materials. 
So we're going to roll in some ceramics. Let's see if we can get these off screen. We're going to roll in some pulsons, some metal insert ABS chips, and I have ceramics. I think, oh, should we roll in some of the other dunes? These are the commemorative set with made out of the, what I call the next gen or the true clay material, which is a slicker plastic. Um, I should have talked about this in materials, but when you compare the slickness of these two materials, it's very different. It's night and day difference. Um, the ones over here are super slick, okay? Whereas the China clays are more chalky. Kind of hard to show that on camera. I don't know. You know, I don't want to get into technical terms of static coefficient of friction, but you use the same force when you slide these. Um, the ones on the right are far more slick. That said, why don't we uh, start the sound test with these? Both of these currently available on ApachePokerChips.com. They didn't sponsor this video. I genuinely bought these because I'm interested in them. Paulson, actual casino used chips from Cleveland. The Horseshoe Cleveland. Ceramics here in the form of Nevada Jack. <laughs> Very different sounding. And finally, we move to my favorite class of chips. I'm being sarcastic. Uh, actually, the mint, I'm not sure it's called the mint. I think these chips are called mint casino chips. They're metal insert ABS chips. These are actually not bad. I actually kind of like these for a metal insert chip. They're a little heavy for my taste, but they're not bad. Mint. Mint condition. And there you have it. Dunes. Poker chips. What do you guys think? Do you love them? Do you hate them? I absolutely love them. I adore them. I'm seriously considering purchasing a whole bunch of them. And I better do it quickly because after this video comes out, I'm not sure how long they'll be in stock. I might have to wait a few months for them to be restocked. If they are restocked, we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love the audience here and my subscribers here on YouTube. Please subscribe. My name is John Hobby.